I live a little bit of a different kind of bus life right now. Let me explain. Every morning, I wake up in my bed, in the bus, I make myself an AeroPress, and I have a little breakfast, and then I leave the bus, and I get in my car, and I go to work. Yeah, I have a job, and it is in the same place every day, every week. I work four days a week, and that gives me three-day weekends, and that's the life I'm living right now. And that is not just okay, but that is great. What that means is that no, I am not living that wanderlust, picture-perfect, Instagrammable bus life where I'm in a new national park every day. And that's okay. Some people are doing that right now and that's great. I will have the opportunity to do that at some point in the near future. But right now I'm parked in the same place every night. I got a hose running into the bus so I'm not finding water every day. I come back from work, I come in here, I cook my dinner, and then I work on some personal stuff. That's what a day in my life right now looks like. That being said, where do my three-day weekends go? Well, the last six weeks I have had non-bus related weekend commitments and although they've been fun and enjoyable and I have gotten the most out of those opportunities, I think it's time that we go on a little bus trip. So today I'm packing things up, we're going to unhook, we're going to unhitch, and we're going to take the bus up to the mountains for a little weekend getaway. Cheers. Yes, going somewhere on the bus does mean that I got to find a place for everything. Otherwise, it's going to go flying all over the place. It also means that I have to unhook my hose and fill my water tank. Not only that, but I got to get this thing off these blocks. I'm parked on a pretty slopey driveway. That's why there's so many blocks. Ooh, dangerous to park on such a precarious stack of blocks, you say? And sometimes this thing has a little bit of a hard time starting up, and that's usually due to a battery that's mm, right on the line of putting out enough amperage to crank this sucker. Usually I can tell how many volts that takes in order to actually get it started, but after letting it sit for that many weeks, it's a little bit questionable. I have a little voltmeter here on my dash that tells me resting voltage of my batteries, and that's a good indicator as to whether it'll start or not. So if we Turn on our ignition. This reads at 10.9. Usually I can get it started at 10.9, but we're gonna have to give it a crank and see. If it doesn't go, I have a switch down by my knee. When I flick that switch, it actually turns on my DC to DC charger, and I have it hooked up backwards from what most people do. Usually you charge your house batteries off of your running engine and alternator. I've got it the other way around. So if I flick that switch, my solar panels and my batteries are gonna push amperage to my starting batteries. Of course, I would never actually crank my engine with that switch on. If I did by accident, there's a fuse that would blow far before I'd ever pull enough amperage off my lithium batteries to hurt them. So, well now it's reading 12 volts. This thing should start up. Let's give it a go. We'll try it and see. Hey, 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 it sat for six weeks. Went right on cue. I found where I'm gonna spend the weekend. Check this out. Here's my little bus on this dirt path, and there's my view. 
And now that I've got myself set up out here for the rest of the weekend, it's just me, this light breeze, and my book. With no service up here, it's just that much easier to bask in what you can find and spend a little time with some entertainment that's a little bit slower. That's why I come out here when I can, when I have a free weekend. I found this spot a couple weeks ago and I just had to come back and spend a couple days here because, I mean, look at this. Why would you not? deck uh, in my folding chair with my speaker and a cup of tea and there's just enough breeze and the temp is just low enough that I actually have a little blanket to keep warm. This is the first time in a month that I felt the sensation of coolness. Just watching the light fade over the peaks in the distance is just, I'm in the right place. It's just right. It is just before 6 a.m. and this is my view out of my bed window.
So I was just hanging out on my roof deck for sunset, doing some reading, taking a few pictures, just watching the sunset as you do. Anyways, uh, a couple people pulled up in their car and hopped out and were taking out their tripods and cameras and we were chit-chatting and everything and one of them, Shelby was her name, and she whips out not a camera on her tripod but an oil painting setup and she started to do some plein air painting and I thought it was the coolest thing. So. I don't know, just chatting and hanging out with them and you know, it's it's cool, the people you run into and just to get to learn what they're into and, and what makes them, makes them want to come out here. So anyways, just thought that was fun. Uh, link for her socials is down below and her website where she sells some of her plein air painting. So um, just thought I'd share that with you guys because it's pretty cool. But anyway. Lights fade in. It's that blue hour, evening time. Time for bed. After a lovely sleep last night, I woke up at 5.30 to actually catch the sunrise instead of kind of sleeping through it like I did yesterday. And sat up on my roof deck, watched the sunrise, finished my second book of the weekend. I have not said that in a long time. Um, made myself a little breakfast and some coffee and now I'm packed up and ready to go. And I'll tell you that when you're up here by yourself, no service, nobody, no nothing, just some calm and some peace and some absolutely gorgeous nature, it's a really restful and relaxing time. And now I'm headed back down the mountain to get my week started. Anyways, enough of that. Thank you very much for watching. I'd appreciate it if you hit that subscribe button down below and like the video if you found this entertaining or relaxing in any way. Thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time here in the BBA bus. Bye.